Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a healthy instant green dosha recipe which does not require fermentation. It's healthy, filling and super easy to make in those busy mornings. So let's get started with the recipe. I'm using single polished white rice which I buy locally here in Kerala. You can call this as a brown rice. It is actually white rice which has some brown hence the brown specks on the rice. Now instead of this you can use any brown rice variety of your choice. I'm adding in one cup rice into a bowl and in the same cup I'm measuring one cup of little millet also known as chama rice in Malayalam. You can use any millet of your choice. I personally like to use millets in my family's diet. I have already shared many millet recipes. Do check them out on my channel to know more about millets and its health benefits. Add some water and rinse it a couple of times and then soak the rice and the millet. Two hours of soaking time would be ideal. Now if you are planning to make this for breakfast, you can soak it overnight. Another main ingredient is cucumber. Uh, try to use Indian variety cucumber in this recipe and I prefer to peel the cucumber before using. Now into my blender, I am roughly chopping in the peeled cucumber. Add in 2 to 3 shallots for that extra iron and folate. Add in 1 green chilli. So this is the spicier variety of green chilli known as Piri Piri Chilli also known as Kantari Molaga in Malayalam. This green chilli also helps to lower cholesterol levels. Now since it is spicy I am using 1 green chilli. If you are using ordinary chilli you can use 2 green chilli or as per your taste. Add in pink Himalayan salt as needed. Now I like to use a little bit of jaggery to balance all the flavors. So I am adding in 1 teaspoon jaggery, add in half teaspoon jeera. Now to make it more nutrient dense I am using 1.5 teaspoon organic moringa powder. Moringa also helps to balance hormones, increase lipid metabolism, it helps to balance sugar. I have already shared many moringa recipes including the latest studies on moringa. Do check them out on my channel to understand more. Now instead of organic moringa powder, you can use a handful of fresh moringa leaves. Other options are curry leaves and coriander leaves. Now into the blender, add in the soaked and rinsed rice and millet. Add in a handful of cooked Kerala mutter rice, also known as Kerala red rice. This rice is not fully polished, so the brown specks you see is a bran and hence it has more fiber. Instead of this, you can use any variety of cooked rice. And for some healthy fats, I'm adding in a handful of grated coconut. Add in half cup water. And also remember that the cucumber has some moisture, which will help to grind the rice and millets. So you don't need too much water to grind this. Grind all this and once ground, pour the batter into a bowl. So once the batter is ready, I'm adding in some toppings. A handful of shallots, which I'll be chopping. I prefer to use shallots more in my recipes as they are rich in iron, folate and antioxidants. And now I have finally chopped the shallots and 2-3 to three green chillies. Mixes really well and as you can see the batter is neither too thick nor too thin. It's of pourable consistency. At this point if you are not using moringa powder you can use a, a handful of coriander leaves, curry leaves or even fresh moringa leaves. And now the batter is ready to make instant dosha. Heat a cast iron tawa or a pan and grease it with ginger oil. Once the tawa is greased, pour in two ladleful of the dosha batter and spread it out. Now this dosha it is not a thin dosha, it is slightly thick like a, a set dosha. So reduce the flame to the lowest and cover and allow it to get cooked. Remember that I am using a cast iron pan which uh, retains more heat. Also cooking in a cast iron helps in better iron absorption. And now let's check on the dosha and once that side is cooked, carefully flip it to the other side. By the way guys, <laughs> because of uh, some lighting issues, the exact color of the dosha is not picked by the camera. So please excuse that. Now allow the dosha to get cooked on that side as well. Now the best thing about this dosha is you don't need any extra oil since there is grated coconut in the batter. No extra oil or ghee is needed but if you are making for kids you can use extra oil or ghee. Once done transfer to a plate. You can serve this dosha with the homemade pickle or any chutney of your choice. I personally like to have it with homemade pickle. So guys do try this healthy instant dosha and let me know how it turned out. Don't forget to like, 
comment and share this video with family and friends thank you for watching and until next time take care bye bye